How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to High on Life. So in the last episode, we got our new friend here, Sweezy, and uh, took out a bounty, and therefore that was our reward. Uh, we are seeing now uh, what new bounties are available. I've been telling you to clean up. This place is a mess. I need you to clean it up before Tweet gets here. Oh, got a big date with your sad sack Flimborg boy toy? Fuck off, Gene. Like you've even never been on a date. Hey, don't even start, sister. I know a lot about dates. I fucked more aliens than your brain can comprehend. Mm -mm. And even I don't want to touch your boyfriend. I'm so sick of hearing about this guy. Yeah, right. My boyfriend is so fucking hot, though, right? Probably hot. That's <laughs> he's probably ugly. Wait, ugly. you haven't even met him. Why are you calling him gross? You know I've got a whole life going on here. While well, you're off having fun, doing whatever it is you do. No, you're right. Her boyfriend's ugly. Just clean up after yourself, Jesus. Hey, look, I'm sorry if I'm coming off harsh. He's messing up the group dynamic. We've got a good thing going here. We do that fun sitcom banter back and forth while your <laughs> nibbling here goes and blasts alien baddies in the face. It's great. Dude, you're lucky you even get to live here with us. I don't care about your damn dynamics. I'm just saying you barely know this guy. Are you sure you're even attracted to him? Most aliens only bang their own species. Oh, what about <laughs> you? You just said you've slept with basically everything in the whole galaxy. Yeah, but I'm a washed up degenerate. You've got your whole life ahead of you. That's more condescending than it is sweet. What? No, look, we've spent all this time living together. I, I care about you now, Leslie. For fuck's sake, my name's Lizzie. Come on, mm -hmm. tell her I care about her. Uh, say out of her business. She's just trying to, yeah, it does seem like he's trying to help. Excuse me? No, sorry, but I am not about to let this fuck-up degenerate school me on life decisions. The fact that I'm a fuck-up degenerate is exactly why you should let me school you on life decisions. I, I know better than anyone what not to do. You're both assholes. Yeah? Well, you're gonna get this twee guy pregnant, and then I'll be here to tell <coughs> you I told you so. Then who's gonna have to deal with all your mutant kids running around this house? Me! Yeah, not that it matters, but I'm the one who would get pregnant. Not the way his species works. <laughs> they get pregnant real easy. I'm so sick of this shit. Look, I just don't want Twig to think I'm messy, okay? It's that simple. And I don't want you dating him at all. Why don't I set you up with my nephew, Grimble Dick? He's got a <laughs> steady job. And yes, before you ask, he's got both his legs. That's not like a family ailment or anything. Fuck off! Just grow up and get used to me and Twig! Come on, tell Jean I can date whoever I want. Um... Thank yeah. you! Not that I needed your approval. Oh, fine, yeah. Team up against the depressed paraplegic. I didn't know you were depressed. I mean, I knew you were depressing. Har, har, har. Just clean up, Gene, okay? Sorry to drag you into all that. Anyway, a nice little arrangement with Clug is paying off. They sent us intel on two new bounties. So, uh, go ahead if you want to get started on those. All right, let's check out what we got. Uh... Screndel Bros. Dr. Giblets. <laughs> Multiples. Let's see what we're going to get into here. I am enjoying this game a lot. Um, obviously, the story isn't, like, award-winning, but... Uh, the outrageousness of it is what's keeping me invested. It's you, the savior! Exactly, yep. Now tell us stuff. Oh, uh, it was awful. Everyone else got enslaved again, if you can believe it. Honestly, I think they like being enslaved. Don't really care, but just to be polite, where are they? They're working at Screndel Labs now, just past the Mushroom Valley here. Just be careful, that place is freaky. Cool. Again, don't really care. Like I said before, those little guys look like Care Bears or something. <laughs> Alright. So 
what do we got going on? Looks like we got a wall over there for Gus to. Oh, thank God, I missed the action. Just... Yeah, they're definitely they're definitely keeping it fresh with uh, with the new stuff that we get from uh, bounties, uh, the new guns and uh, like kind of new abilities that we can do, and you know, in this case, traversal methods and stuff like that. So definitely dig that. And also, uh, if you guys missed it, we got. A, uh, a jetpack in the last episode as well. Hey, don't forget to use your scanner. So that's been pretty nice. Although this is the first time we're really using it, other than just a quick tutorial. So. You gonna jetpack across this or what? Mushrooms here. Nice, you cross a big gap. You want me to order you a trophy off of Delarmo Prime? Now, now. Good. Sarcasm. This is the right path. If it isn't, I'll freak out. You good, bounty hunter? I got faith in you, man. You ready, partner? Oh no, I missed it. There we go. So now, let's see. We're going over there. I think. I like it. Gun is pretty nice, gotta say. We are proud of I can't hit anything now for to save my life. back up. Spent all my monies. Looks like we're going over there. Seems kind of far though. So maybe go there and then there. It's gotta be. Somebody got a problem with us? Hey. Yeah, seems like what you gotta do. Hey, blast that pesky sucker! Drone soon. 
seem like suck them in with a shotgun. I'm just saying, I should go ready to shoot out some discs. Jump seems a little dicey. But don't forget about my discs. How there many of you motherfuckers are there? I can tell there was a grapple point from the edge there. I know where I was jumping, honestly. My disc sniper. That may be another gun that maybe we'll get as a sniper. I have a feeling. Delicious. Oh. Also need some sort of like, grenade launcher or something. I feel like too. Does it take to screw in a light bulb? Those would be the staples. What my hey, hey, pistol sniper, or shotgun? Not fair. Don't you guys want to take a break or something? Rapid Put fire. Gun. A grenade launcher and a sniper. Pretty much round themselves out. We got like a few more bounties after this as well, so. 
Maybe you won't use my discs. Maybe not. I don't care. Grindel Labs just ahead. That's what I'm talking about. It's quite the interesting little path over to where we're going. We've been reprogrammed by Dr. Giblets. You know, just in case we're wondering. Okay, what's that? We need some damn mic spray. Just use that zip line, bud. Some big science labs like a field trip? Why does this feel like we're going on a field trip? I don't like these vibes. We're here to kill. We're here to maim some G3 dirt bags. If you see any science here, ignore it. Just focus on the killing. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Scranda Labs. Only authorized personnel are allowed beyond oh, the this care bear. Great, more bullshit. You're the bounty hunter who helped us out with all that paperwork and killed my boss, Krubus. <laughs> we really appreciated that. But sorry, I need to let the G3 know that you're here. Just my job, nothing personal. You're gonna set off the alarm? Yep, I'm gonna set off the alarm. We've got an intruder. G3 are coming for you. Sorry, it's my job. And I don't care about you. Elevators on, enemies coming. You win some, you lose some.
Oh, look at these three gross freaks. Would you like to do the honors? We're going to try to show up those cocky nerds in the weapons lab by fusing this human with some other aliens. Just what hit the button. The world. Yeah, sure. It's not gonna kill them, right? Look, I can do it myself if you don't want to. Whoa. Oh god. That wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> yeah, no Thanks. shit. Uh, that blood's on your hands, bounty hunter. You're the one who pushed the button. But hey, we all make mistakes. All right, I guess that's it. It's all barred off there. Right. Back out, Let's see what else we got. In chest in there. Not sure how you get through that. So what? This is one of the Grendel's offices. Hello, Jonathan. It's Dr. Gergiel. I've been asked to send you some of my findings on the human genome. It's only a small portion, and I doubt you'll even be able to comprehend what you're looking at. But I promised Garmantua I'd provide them. And now please don't contact me again. I'm busy. I don't trust this fucking gurgling creep. A name like that, I wouldn't trust him either. Oh, later, shit. When your mutant kid dies because it has a microscopic lifespan, that's not so good of a feeling, actually. But I'm numb to it. Oh, yeah, that's one of my children. They die fast. Don't worry. It's easy to make more. And it feels good. God, I love them so much. It's messed up. Pipes and small spaces. All right, that's gotta be through here. Boom! There we go.
This is our best human Fergal hybrid specimen. It may not be as cool as our subject in the weapons lab, but it's still rather beautiful, isn't it? We call it a furman. Or, or maybe a hurdle. I, we haven't decided yet. <clears throat> Why am I telling you all this? You know, to be honest, it's because you look cool and a little bit badass, to be frank. It's good. It's a good experiment that I think is actually just a dead human with a Fergal on top. That's funny. So I'm looking for that other room that had that chest. Is it out of force field? No, that was the first room. There it is. Oh, there's a pipe. There we go. Ah, uh, who are these cute critters? Here it looks like. Oh, need there we go. Why haven't you been using me? And there. All right, we're in. How was that? Was that helpful? Was it helpful that I gave birth to a lot of tiny guys really fast? <laughs> hey, is this gonna hurt? Is this gonna hurt getting a weapon grafted to my arm? You're gonna graft a Gatlian to my arm, and that's gonna be permanent? Is that right? Because I'm I'm obviously down to do it. I'm just a little scared that it's gonna hurt a lot, and then also it sure hurts. being hey, able to. I can fight too. I need help. Yeah, I'm good to go. Just... Guys, or just oh, hanging out? I'm down for whatever. You are strong. Good thing I'm safe behind this glass. Oh! Use one of my kids to fuck with that guy's mind. Mm -hmm. He'll go into a frenzy. Did I tell you they can do that? They can do that. A little pink or purple on it. Like oh, oh! And oh, if you Jesus. keep piling my kids on top of a guy, they can do mind control shit. They can make a bad guy fight for us. Oh, oh, shit. That's that awesome. mind control thing doesn't last very long. Sorry about that. I keep yelling at my kids to make it last longer, but they're shitheads. They do not listen. Shoot my little guys in there. There we go. Look at my little guy in there rustling up the hive. Isn't that cute? I'm so <laughs> proud of him. All right, guys. I think uh, I think we're gonna call the episode here. More uh, more hilarious stuff coming your way. So stay tuned. More coming at you. Take care.